Why hello, I'm Noel. I'm a huge fan of Shu Kuenai, who is a great plater, but not only is a great plater, he's also known to be a good cook. It's been confirmed in the show that Shu has been cooking spaghetti carbonara for himself and for Volt, but the one that he cooks the most is called spaghetti napolitan, which is a ketchup based spaghetti. It's very simple, yet very, very tasty, which actually originated in Japan. But I will tell you the background story once we're done cooking. We could use two separate pans for this recipe, but let's just use one frying pan and keep the recipe as simple as possible. Okay? The main ingredients that we are going to use, or that Shu uses are ketchup, onion, bacon, bell peppers, and of course spaghetti. We'll also be using salt, pepper, oil, and maybe some Parmesan cheese, but that's optional. First, start by cutting the vegetables. Let's start with the onion. This is a small onion, so I'll be using half of this onion. Just slice it thinly. Same for the bell peppers. You could use one, or maybe two. As for the bacon, I personally like using thick bacons. They match perfectly with the recipe. Once we're done chopping, now heat the frying pan, add some oil, and start by tossing the onions. Once the onions start to change color, it's time to add the bell peppers and bacon. We're going to season it later, but for now, just leave this aside Maybe clean the pan and add two cups of water. We're going to cook the spaghetti. It doesn't really matter which brand you're using, just follow the instructions that's written on the package. When the spaghetti is fully cooked, you could leave a tiny bit of boiling water on the pan and then add the ketchup. Be careful, don't mix the ketchup with the spaghetti yet because we want to get rid of the excess sour taste and the ketchup by heating it. Once the ketchup starts to boil, you can mix the ketchup with the spaghetti and then add the vegetables and bacon. Just give it a stir, season it with salt and pepper. Maybe adding a tiny bit of butter is a great idea. Finally, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. Oh. Nice! It's ready! Napolitan! We did it guys! I'm so hungry, I'm starving! Let's eat first and uh, I'll tell you guys about the background story of this spaghetti. But first, in Japanese we say itadakimasu before we eat. Itadakimasu! Ooh. What I like about Napolitan is that it's super colorful and it looks delicious. Mmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes, adding the cheese on top was a good idea. Great idea. Mmm. So, about the background story of Napolitan is that it's named after the, the Italian city <clears throat> but the recipe originated in Japan. And the reason why we use ketchup is because back then when this recipe was created in a hotel in Japan, tomato sauce was very expensive, like the juicy real tomato sauce was expensive but ketchup was available, therefore the chef decided to use ketchup instead. Mm. And I really like the fact that Shu Krenai likes this pasta because, um, you know, Red Eye. Shu Krenai became Red Eye in Beyblade vs. God. And uh, there's like a cocktail named Red Eye. It's tomato juice with beer, I think. And this is also like a tomato ketchup based pasta so 
there's maybe like a secret connection between red eye, shukre and eye, and tomato. Mm. There's um there's an episode that I really like in Beyblade Burst Sparking, and that's when Shukre and I he visits the house or the restaurant of Hyuga and Hikaru and they all have uh, spaghetti together. The eating and cooking scenes in Pain Blade Burst is always fun to watch. Ah, that was so good. I'm full and happy. So as for the recipe, feel free to, you know, adjust the recipe. You could add some sugar or use different sauce. That's up to you. It's a very casual type of spaghetti, so feel free to experiment with it. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!